clunky thing, right? And what's the problem with a wheel barrel? What's the problem with it? I mean, they're, they're great, right? Usually they're good. I mean, I, I don't like the ones where you have to fill the tire with air because the tire always goes flat. This is a solid rubber tire. You never have to deal with that. The other problem with the wheelbarrow is it's big and it's clunky. How do you store it? It takes up a whole corner of the garage or your shed. You get a wheelbarrow that can still do everything that a regular wheelbarrow can do, but that can fold. And I had never seen one until we brought it here. Not only that, it lays flat on the ground so you can scoop your, uh, your clippings right into it. And it doesn't, it's not tippy like a regular hard bar a wheelbarrow because it goes with the flow. When you have something heavy in there like rocks or stones or wood or grass, it actually goes, the center of gravity goes to the middle of the wheelbarrow so it stays balanced. And look, it folds, oh my gosh. That is a huge feature. What I use mine for too is you can lay it on the ground and you can rake into it. Uh, it's easier to tip because it's not as big or clunky as a regular wheelbarrow. This was $97 every day of the week and worth it. I own it, it's hanging in my shed. Uh, you're getting a better deal than I got for it with my corporate discount. <laughs> Today it is on sale because it's early season, $67.95, only $13.59 on your credit card. Um, Jared, do I have it available in two colors? I have it available in gray or green. Um, what's so wonderful about this thing is that it only weighs 11 pounds, all right? Yet it holds 150 pounds, which is more than most people can carry anyway. So you really don't, you don't want to put 300 pounds in a wheelbarrow. And then all you do is you put it down, you open it up, right? It's actually, I have mine locked right now. I got one on the ground that's, uh, that's on, there's a little cotter pin that holds it in. So I'll slide over and I'll open this one up. And I will show you, this is, this is how it folds, by the way. Ah! That's how it folds. I open it up and now I have got a perfectly usable wheelbarrow that is easy to steer. And as I said, the weight finds the center of gravity because this is not a hard shell on the bottom. So it doesn't tip left or right. Um, it has a solid rubber wheel in the front. It's got cushion grips on the back. If you've always wanted to own a wheelbarrow, but you were like, where am I gonna put it? This is your answer right here. Let me introduce you to my uh, special guest, Lorna Co, who is standing by. Lorna, we took $30 off today. Remember, the price will go back up. I know you love it, tell us why. Oh, Guy, welcome to my garden here in London. Happy launch of garden season. And this is why people love it. What wheelbarrow could you hold with one hand? As you mentioned, it's 11 pounds. But don't be fooled because it's super strong. Steel construction, Oxford canvas. And as you mentioned, that solid rubber tire airless, you're never going to have a flat again. But Guy, this is the future of wheelbarrows. Why? Because it's really easy to use, easy on your back, easy on your body. And when it comes to filling it, the back opens up with that hook and loop enclosure. So you can slide and glide into it instead of having to lift up into your wheelbarrow. And even heavy things like bags of compost or mulch, or even here I've got some bags of hay. You can slide it in, so you're making your life easier, then just do up that hook and loop enclosure. And as you mentioned, 11 pounds weight. This is gonna hold up to 150 pounds, guy. This is why, this is the next generation of wheelbarrow. But when you're done at the other end, undo that back, slide it out so you're not having to lift out of the wheelbarrow and because it is so lightweight i love this you can literally turn it upside down and then you can boot out anything you don't want in there because it then will become the most easy to store wheelbarrow ever because are you ready as you mentioned you take out the pins so there's two pins down here literally take them out and then are you ready this is what it folds up into so imagine storing this into your shed or garage much, much easier than the big plastic or metal ones, Guy. Oh my gosh, it is. All right, remember, we are now I, we're very limited in this. We did not get a lot of them in. Uh, Jer I think Jared just said the first one to sell out will be the green. Really? All right, so we're down to hundreds in the green if you want to get it. You never have to worry about pumping up that front tire. That is a solid rubber tire, so don't worry about that. Uh, you've got a cushion grip up top. What I love about it, Lorna, is like I said, people, pe most people won't buy a wheelbarrow 
because they don't know where to put it when they're not using it, right? Yep. You leave it outside yep. and a metal wheelbarrow, when you leave it outside, it's gonna rust, right? Because they yeah. are not made <laughs> of industrial grade, you know, stainless type steel. <laughs> they always rust out, they peel, they chip. This you can hang right in your garage. And the other thing I love is right there. If you are doing gardening and you've got mulch or you need to move stones or boulders, yeah. how are you gonna, you, you still have to lift them into the wheelbarrow. With this, you don't have to. You can rake into it or you can yep. roll firewood or whatever it is that's heavy and then you can go wherever you need to go. The other thing I mentioned, Lorna, which maybe you can expand on, the fact that you've got a, a soft liner inside, now it's heavy and uh, duty durable, but it's a soft uh, uh, liner. Yep. It always finds the center of gravity. These don't tip over like a regular wheelbarrow. Absolutely, it's such a clever design. So this is taking the old fashioned wheelbarrows and just getting rid of them because it is Oxford canvas, steel frame, only weighs 11 pounds. That's one finger, I'm holding it with my thumb. And then it will take up to 150 pounds. The airless wheel, as you mentioned, that's important because you won't get a flat tire. But as you mentioned, the center of gravity as I'm using this, it will always adjust because it writes itself, it balances itself. And when you want to fill it, instead of with the old fashioned ones, you have to lift in with this, you can slide and glide. You open up the back, hook and loop. You can push in your grass clippings, your leaves. You can slide in heavy things you want to carry around and then just do up the back take it to where you want to go so so easy and i'm not a strong person but even i can take heavy things in this and when you get to the other end you literally slide it out again and because it is so lightweight if you've got something on a compost heap you can just literally get it out of there and then when you're done at the end of the day guy usually as you say metal barrows they rust plastic ones crack in the sun they go bad with this take out the two pins fold it up you can hang it and then literally 11 pounds, it takes up next to no space. So if you're gonna invest in a new wheelbarrow this year, this is one to try because it makes life easy. And that's what I love about HSN. It gives you products that make your life easy and simple. And this for me is just such a clever, clever design, but the construction is so strong, so durable. And Guy, what will you use yours for? Listen, if you wanna get it, very limited in the green. I have, I'm okay still on the gray, but get it home. It's a, it's, I never saw this until I got one last year. I was like, I never knew they even made a wheelbarrow like this. We have it available here at HSN. Lorna, I know you're coming back because we, we got Durasac, right, coming up in the, is that the next hour, Jared? Durasac? Is that next hour? I think it is. Anyway, yep. next hour. We'll see you next hour, Lorna. See you next hour. All right. Hey, uh, I want to say hi to everybody uh, on Facebook. Annie's with me. Jan's with us. Uh, Judy, uh, let's see, uh, Deanne, I might be saying your name more than once. Dawn, Barbara, Kathy, good morning, ladies. Glad to have you on the show. So I, I, uh, I, I did a little tease of my pick. I'm going to do another one. This is called the long arm pruner. Now, right now, I have it shifted into the handheld pruner. It is both. It is my pick of the show. There's an extension. You see